So just what is the problem with the Ford EcoBoost 1 litre engine? Well this video will show you. This 1 litre Ford had just got 60,000 miles on the clock when the engine went. It, they're now known as the EcoBank and the problem is this belt. The belt runs in the oil in the sump and it's known as a wet belt system and when it fails it's because the teeth have degraded because the oil wasn't changed enough times as per the manufacturer's instructions. The rubber that has come off the belt ends up in the sump and clogs the oil pump. And that causes starvation of oil to the engine and the engine stops. Teeth on the right, no teeth on the left. The engine's a three cylinder and it's an interference engine. So when the belt snaps, it usually causes head damage and bottom end damage. Bottom end damage usually includes the bearings on the conrods that connect the conrods to the crankshaft wearing and seizing or being misfitted. And the oil pump that's in the sump here fills up with pieces of the belt. These pieces stop the oil flowing around the engine and what are causing the damage. Damage is caused to the pistons, possibly also the turbo. This turbo has been damaged and in fact the shaft on the turbo has completely snapped so the turbo will want replacing. So this engine has got a head issue, the head wants replacing, the turbo wants replacing, the wet belt system wants replacing, there are issues with the big end bearings they need looking at and replacing and then there's also uh, standard things to do on a 60,000 mile engine while you're rebuilding it such as swapping out the clutch and all the fluids obviously it will need a new filter for the oil a new oil etc etc extensive expensive damage 